All right, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. All right, and in today's short video, I'm going to talk about the fall of pipes to and from a septic tank. So what angle should the pipe be from the house going into the septic tank? How deep should the pipes be below the grass, right? Well, this video will answer those questions for you. Okay, so here you've got an onion-shaped septic tank. And you can see the incline and the slope on the pipe heading towards the inlet of the onion shaped septic tank. Now, let me give you a different angle, all right? Now, it may not look too bad here, but when we start to look at it from a different angle, you can see that it's quite a severe slope. Now, you've got two different colors there on the screen. The dark brown is the topsoil, and then the kind of yellowy color is the clay. Now, at this particular point, you may be saying, well, what's the problem? Well, let me give you another angle of this. Now, when we look at it from here, you can see that the outlet pipe on the septic tank is starting to go into the clay. Now that becomes a problem because when you start to put your soak away in, the soak away obviously still has to be lower than the outlet pipe of the septic tank. And so now you can see, you know, the extent of the problem by having to go <laughs> deep very quickly with the fall of the pipe. So if I give you a different shot at this, there you go. You can see it's ridiculous now. The depth of the soakaway is literally 10 foot below the grass. So no, it's no wonder that onion shaped septic tanks and soakaways <clears throat> deal with problems very, very quickly. So the reason I'm showing you this is because not only do I hate onion tanks for this reason? There's lots of other reasons as well. But it's, you know, no wonder people struggle putting them in. But this is a traditional way. Let me show you a better way. So as you can see, we've got two pipes here. Now the bottom pipe is the pipe that went to the onion tank. Now the top pipe here is going to a modern septic tank. So let me give you a different angle at this to show how much high up the, uh, these modern septic tanks, you know have to have the pipe they're very very shallow so this is what we call um, a bullet shaped septic tank they're very very shallow and you literally need about one in 200 fall which is basically two mil for every foot now the benefit of this is not only is the tank very shallow and easy to put in but when you actually put the septic tank and the soak away in you can see that they're in the topsoil. So because they're in the topsoil, the liquid is gonna drain away naturally. It's gonna drain away easily. It's gonna drain away nicely. So look at that, look how shallow that is. Look how shallow that is. Right. So let me give you a comparison now between the onion tank and the bullet shaped septic tank. When you put the two of them side by side, you can see that the bullet shaped septic tank is like seven, eight feet higher up than, you know, than the, um, the traditional herringbone soak away. That's way, way down in the clay there. So if I come at a different angle on this, there you go. There's a different angle for you. There you go. So that puts it in context. That puts it in perspective. So for me, this is why, you know, I prefer any day the bullet shaped septic tanks over the onion shaped septic tanks not only are they easier to install they're cheaper to buy they're cheaper to install um but you know problem problem wise you know um you don't get the same problems that you do with the onion tanks and those traditional herringbone soakaways because the soakaways in the topsoil and um yes yeah, so, so coming back to the original reason i did this video when we look at height of the and the incline the fall of the pipe coming into either tank you can see for me why i prefer the bullet shaped sept tank anytime any day over the onion one all right because those kind of falls are unnecessary so if you're going to put um, a bullet shaped system in then you only need as i said a fall one in 200. Um, if you'd like to know more about these bullet shaped septic tanks and the soak away, soak away kits and how to install them, um, have a look at this. The amazing septic tank and soak away kit is an incredible product. Not only will it save you thousands and thousands of pounds in installation costs, but it's also really easy to install and it's building regs compliant and it fits neatly into any garden. So what's included in this amazing septic tank and soak away kit? 
Well, it comes with absolutely everything. It comes with a heavy duty, shallow dig septic tank, no concreting required. It also comes with a German inspection chamber, all the pipework and all the connections. And it also comes with the septic tank drainage field crates with free membrane. And the best part is it only takes a few hours to install. So how do you install the amazing septic tank and soak away kit? You put the pipe in the first trench and this will come from the house into the first hole. Into that hole, then you put the septic tank and connect the pipe to it. Then you connect the inspection chamber to the pipes, which then just slot straight into the septic tank. Then you insert the drainage field crates into the hole and put the pipe from the inspection chamber in to one of the drainage field crates. Then you cover with membrane. That's it. Job done. This septic tank and soakaway kit is easy to install. It will save you thousands in installation costs. And it can be installed in any size garden, small, medium or large.